Hey, have you seen Moody? I got the bear. Right here. Moody Star? I you were you were supposed to get her a beer, you're supposed to get her. I got her a beer, I got her some coffee. Hey, you know. I got a girl named Kathy. You got all three of those things? I got Kathy and coffee right now. No. I got a beer you, right here. No, no. You From Moody. You? Hey. Hey, hey, I'll give it to him. Let me just, let me just, you gotta finish your match. My, I didn't even start my match. You ain't had you done. Tell me. No, it's my match. Finish your match with PC. What's the finisher match with PC? Finish your match is when you use your finisher to win the match. All right, good. I'll see you. I'll see you after the show. Oh, what's, uh, what's PC's finisher? The PC crash. Got it. PC fresh. PC fresh. I got it. I'll be right back. Wait. What the? What the? What in the heck is my finisher? The Alabama slam. You're right. You're, you're right. I'll see you later. to uh, wear Troy Garbo's usual cowboy hat went. Uh, apparently he was also the victim of some theft. Chateau Bannigan's glass got stolen and uh, Troy Garbo's hat. Oh, and Garbo gets punched right in the side of the head by Paul Clement to start off this finisher's match. As it was said before, ladies and gentlemen, the only way to win is for Paul Clement to either hit his PC crash or Troy Garbo to hit his Alabama slant. Paul Clement with a side headlock on Troy Garbo. Garbo with the head scissors brings him around to the front. And Paul Clement floats over back into the side headlock on the good old boy. We still have two more action packed contests here to come this week on The Sane Show. I guess your alternative for aftermath this week. We will see Carnage versus Marenzi 3 when those two monsters battle in a dog collar match. And then in our main event, it will be six man Texas Tornado Rules. All six men in the ring at one time. It will be Christian Sane, Todd Sopel, and the number one contender to the WAW Championship doing battle with Epo, Freakin' Flax, and the WAW Champion. Skyler Phoenix. Paul Clement hanging on to that side headlock, but he gets sent off the opposite side by Garbo. Garbo goes underneath. Could he be going for a backslide? Maybe to try and set up for the Alabama slam. Paul Clement misses the clothesline. Garbo takes him down with a clothesline. 
Garbo fired up as per usual here on Aftermath. And wait a second, Bianca Wild getting up on the apron. And uh, that really didn't do her any good. Just wasted some time getting up on the apron. Didn't do anything. And the Emerald Embassy has her as the manager walk. Hip toss takeover by Troy Garbo. And we get a scoop slam on Paul Clement. Speaking of people, I wonder why the Emerald Embassy has. Why do they have any of their members? Why doesn't Todd Sobel just stick to uh, what he was doing before, the whole singles thing? Kyle Knight's been gone for who knows how long, and he'll be at home for even longer as long as he's tangled up in his spandex pulling his hammies. And Paul Clement, well, I don't think there's really ever any hope for Paul Clement. Ever the misguided soul, and now he has put his career in the hands of Todd Sopel. And I don't even have to go there on Todd Sopel. You fans know the deal. Tries for a fist drop, nobody home. Garbo moves out of the way and smashes Paul Clement's head right into the turnbuckle. And again, right into that turnbuckle pad. Troy Garbo with an elbow to the back of the head. Getting up on the top rope. What's he gonna go for here out of the corner? And we get a bulldog off the top rope, taking Paul Clement down. What a maneuver there by Troy Garbo. Garbo taking off the shirt. That usually means it's time to get down to business. We get a low kick by Paul Clement. He gets hit back into the corner by Troy Garbo. Irish ripping to the far side. Garbo coming into the corner, going for the Irish whip again. Sends Paul Clement in once more. One more time. Yes, it is. Three times. He dropped his head. He's got him up. It could be time. Alabama slam. No, Paul Clement reverses out. Rolling through, but he hangs on to the legs of Troy Garbo. Could it be time for the PC crash? Yes, it is. PC crash, and Paul Clement picks up a huge victory with two weeks until annihilation, and it's the final aftermath, excuse me, the same show, before annihilation in two weeks, and Paul Clement walks out with a huge victory for Team Sane over Team Empo. Good action here this week on Aftermath, but coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be the dog collar match between Carnage and Major Morpheus Morenzi.